Hey guys, it's Cole and Kelly Watkins with The Bridge Group with eXp Realty, and we just got back from a Tom Ferry real estate conference in, in Vegas, Vegas, which was super fun. It's thousands of the top realtors from all across the nation, all across the world, really, getting together, talking about the market, and talking about what we're doing to help our buyers and sellers in today's crazy market. Today, we wanna to talk to you guys specifically about the Houston market, where we're coming out of 2022, going into 2023, what has happened in the past year and where we see things going. I don't want to start on a negative note and I don't really think it's a negative note because what goes up must come down. In 2022, we saw the first decline since 2015. And so, which is not a bad thing because if you look at the market, it has to level out or normalize eventually. And that's what we're seeing right now in the range of 10.9% of a decline there. So uh, not a bad thing. Actually in Houston, we are the least and last to get a affected by any type of national decline in inventory or home sales. Well, the interesting thing was that the total dollar volume only went down by 2%, which is an indicator of the price point. So the price point went up by 10% over the last year. So that's why, yes, number of sales went down, but total dollar volume didn't really get affected too much because the price point increased. So the inventory is something that we typically like to talk about. We really can't because they don't have those numbers updated just yet, but they did say it went up to 2.7 in December. I would imagine right now it's kind of hanging in and around that area if it hasn't gone up to maybe around three months of inventory. <laughs> and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about as far as how does that affect us buyers? How does that affect our sellers? Two things are motivating or pushing the market right now, and that is going to be interest rates and months of inventory. We still have really low inventory. It's at three, 3.5, 3.6. It doesn't matter. Anything under four months of inventory is still a very strong seller's market. And so it's still having that low inventory. And if we talk about interest rates, what we learned at the Tom Ferry conference in Vegas was the interest rates peaked last year at like 7.1%. In November, yep. And now they're starting to come down. They're trending downwards. We had Saba Mafi with Supreme Lending at our team meeting this morning, and she talked about interest rates were averaging at 6.1. You could yeah. definitely get them below six. For buyers, what does this mean? We are starting to see a ton of buyers that were discouraged and, and took a step back back from the market in the last two, two and a half years due to tons of bidding wars and competition for the same house. Yeah. Now that the inventory is coming up slightly and the interest rates are higher than what they were, those buyers are starting to come back out because they're like, well, at least it's not 7%. Uh, I'm not waiting for it to bottom out. I'm going to buy right now, refinance later. So we're starting to see a lot more buyer action earlier on in the year than we typically do. What does that mean for our sellers? I know every monthly market update, we say this and have been for the last six to eight months but that FOMO is a hard thing to deal with. <laughs> if you did not sell in the last two and a half years, you missed it. At the end of the day, you are not missing another opportunity to sell for a premium for a high dollar because the appreciation, depreciation really didn't affect our property values. They actually went up in value and they're holding that value because of the low inventory that we have. So right now we're starting to have a lot of people that were looking to sell and buy something, list their properties, or even just take pictures so that when they find that right property, we can list it and get it sold uh, as soon as possible. Days on market are up quite a bit only because we had less buyers interacting in the last six months. But now that is starting to change and we're starting to see a lot more multiple offer situations starting to happen and across the different price points. So whether you're a buyer or a seller, it is a very good market either way, whether you're looking to list your property and still get that high value. Or if you're a buyer, we also have great incentives on and great ideas of lowering the interest rate, different types of loan products. And we talked about that with Saba. You can see that video as well. And so there's a lot of options for you guys as well. So if you have any questions about the Houston market, please reach out to the Bridge Group today. We'd be happy to help.